Good morning, boys and girls. Barney and I are here, and we're really excited to keep reading. Um, I, I said, Barney, do you want to listen to a story? And he came running out of the other room and jumped up here. So I think he's ready to hear some more um, from Wedgie and Gizmo. So I wanted to say before I start reading that I got to thinking about this book um, last night. And I realized that I'm kind of sad about what's happening because Emily and Jasmine were kind of in this argument because Jasmine was really worried that Emily was going to win at all of these competitions. And Emily really seemed to have it together and like she and Pinky were going to walk out and just rock this. And all of a sudden everything just kind of fell apart. And Pinky's not really doing any of the tricks that Pinky knows. She's not wearing her costume. Like... She just seems very uncomfortable being around all the people, which is kind of sad for Emily because she's worked really hard with Pinky, and it's just not happening. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but that just kind of made me, like, if I was Jasmine, I would be feeling pretty badly about being so upset with my friend right now. But maybe you guys feel differently. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking so far about the book, though. All right, we are on Chapter 23, and we're going to tackle Chapters 23 and 24 today. Um, chapter 24 is a very short one, but there's some cute images, some cute illustrations for us to look at. All right, you ready, Barney? He's ready. He's over here looking at me. All right, chapter 23, back to Gizmo, right after he got his drone of destiny and was flying through the sky at this pet parade. How crazy. I can't even imagine seeing that. The elderly one brought my drone of destiny. This is a delightful turn of events. The elderly one has become my servant. Not only do we watch television and eat cheese puffs together, but she clearly shares my vision and, and wants to help me with my evil plan of world domination. When I take over the world, I will give the elderly one a special place in my kingdom, and I will allow her to eat as many marshmallows as she wants. I press the start button. The motor makes a pleasant whirring sound. I am pleased to report that the harness fits me perfectly. It secures around my middle and beneath my rump, thus holding me quite comfortably as I dangle from the drone. Four blades twirl above my head. I grasp the control box in my paws. There are switches for takeoff and landing. There are buttons to move me up, down, right, left, back, forth. What's this button for? Ah! Apparently that was a spin button. I shall not press it again. Poor Gizmo. <laughs> the dizziness passes. I adjust my crown. I test the controls, moving up and down, left and right. The controls obey me. It is no surprise that I am an excellent pilot, more evidence that I was born for world domination. The elderly one and the other humans have gathered in the center of the room. They are waiting for me to give my speech and lead the parade. To pass the time, a dog is entertaining them with tricks. They shall have to wait a few minutes longer. There is something important I must do. The rat eyes me. Jealous that he does not have own a, <coughs> excuse me, jealous that he does not own a flying machine, but that is because he is not an evil genius. He gnaws on his cage. I maneuver my drone of destiny forward, whilst carefully balancing the control box in one paw. I open the rat's cage with my other paw. King Gizmo has set you free. I tell him, go forth and spread plague. He slinks out and disappears over the edge of the table. Next, I open the gerbil cage. They scramble out, thanking me with flicks of their whiskers. Go forth and chew things, I command. They scurry beneath the tablecloth. Oh, dear. Oh, Gizmo, what have you done? Some kids are going to be so upset. Their pets are going to be missing. Oh, I would not want to be in that room, having all those animals free. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now to release the most important creatures. The cavies. I open cage after cage. Come out of your cages, I tell them. A pair of short-haired cavies step out. A Himalayan follows. Three more long-haired cavies inhale the air of freedom. A gray cavy, a black and white cavy, and an orange cavy join the others on the table. Your days as pets are over. You are now members of my cavy horde, I tell them. They look at me with awe and respect. I am giddy with glee. My evil plan is working. My evil horde is forming. To celebrate, I decide to set everyone free. I make my way down the length of the table, opening all the cages. Principal, watch out, the animals are loose. Boy, Spot, why are you swimming in the punch bowl? Girl, add my snake 
get up on the basketball hoop. Another girl. Don't step on my hedgehog. I press the up button so that I can get a better view. Animals are running everywhere. Humans are chasing after them. Such glorious chaos. Mwahaha. That is when barking erupts. Of course, Thorgy is the source of this noise. He and the tooth look up at me. How small they look from way up here. Almost as if I already put them into the shrinking machine. They will try to stop me from giving my speech and leading my parade. They will try to stop me from taking over the world, but they will fail. I am invincible. I swoop across the gymnasium. Humans scream and ducks and duck as I fly over their head. There are no ducks. I'm going to reread that sentence. For some reason, I thought that there were pet ducks. Humans scream and duck as I fly over their heads. I hover in the center of the room. Everyone is looking up at me. Finally, I have the crowd's attention. This is my chance. I hold up my arms and begin my speech. Humans, listen up. My name is Gizmo, the evil genius, and I am your worst nightmare. Soon, all the caves of the world will be set free, and the cave uprising will begin. There is nothing you can do to stop us. You humans will feel my wrath. But for now, I hope you enjoy the parade, which is being held in my honor. All hail me, your future king. Some of the humans are taking photos, which will be published in history books. I strike a regal pose. But as I do, my drone of destiny sputters. It rolls to one side, then to the other. That dizzy feeling comes back. The machine rolls again. I press the buttons, but they do not obey. Spinning, rolling, my little tummy is not made for such violent movement. I feel queasy. I feel faint. Just when I think I might lose my lunch, the blades stop twirling. Uh-oh. For a moment, I hang in midair, motionless. My life flashes before my eyes. My carefree days as a pup. My evenings reading to Guinevere in the pet shop as she waddled on her wheel. My glorious naps in my eco-habitat. Will this be the end? An odd sensation takes hold of me. And I realize that I am falling. He's falling. Oh, poor Gizmo. I hope he's okay. All right. <coughs> Chapter 24, Wedgie. People are screaming. Dogs are barking. Birds are squawking. There's too much noise in here. Why is there so much noise? Oh, there's a mouse. I want to chase that mouse. And there's a snake. I really want to chase that snake. There are critters everywhere. I want to chase them all. I don't know what to do. What should I do? I'm so excited to start shaking. Hey, why is furry potato up in the sky? I want to chase furry potato. Elliot. Don't worry, Gizmo. I'll catch you. Emily. Oh, no. Pinky is heading for the door. If she gets outside, she might get hurt. Jasmine, Wedgie, stop Pinky. Hey, the door's open. A bunch of critters are running toward it. And there goes Furry Dog. She still has my cape. Hey, Funny Dog. I bark. Don't go outside. There's a street out there. If Funny Dog goes outside, she'll be called Bad Funny Dog. And if all those critters go outside, they'll also be bad. I gotta stop them. I gotta protect them. I pull on my leash. Jasmine, let's go. Then I do what I do best. Mom. Jasmine, you promised you wouldn't let Wedgie off the leash. He's running wild. Jasmine, no he's not. Look, he's hurting. Super wedgie to the rescue indeed. Oh my, look at wedgie saving the day. That's awesome. All right, we only have chapters 25 and 26 left and then the book is done. So. Um, Monday, I will read to you guys the last two chapters of the book, and then you can take a quiz, and hopefully you've met your AR goal. All right, boys and girls, I hope you had fun hearing these couple of chapters, and I look forward to reading to you on Monday. All right, Barney, you want to say bye? Oh, he fell asleep. He fell asleep during story time. Bye, guys.